How is everybody doing? Hope you're all well. Hope you're all enjoying the draconian um, style times we're living in. Um, so you need some thing to lift you out of that um, black hole that the uh, world leaders seem to be putting us in at the moment. And here we have Divine Comedy. Um, they've just released, or he, Neil Hannon I guess, uh, who's the main singer-songwriter, has just released the uh, whole catalogue on vinyl. And um, I'm very excited about this. Um, I have some Divine Comedy albums on vinyl already. Um, a short album out of love I have. I've got um, Fantasy Echo and I also have Liberation. Um, but these aren't included here because these are all brand new um, pressings and more about that in a minute. So let's check them out right now. So where better to start than Casanova. Uh, this was the third album proper by the Divine Comedy. Uh, the first one was Liberation, then Promenade came along. But there's also one I think called, um, oh, it's an EP I think from before that. I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm not sure if it's classed as an album or an EP. Um, fanfare for the Comic Muse or something like that. But um, Casanova was released in um, 1996. I remember hearing it everywhere and I was amazed with it. I thought it was really good, something fresh, new. Uh, but little did I realise that when I started getting into it more and more, it led me to other types of music and um, it got me to Scott Walker and other stuff from the uh, 60s. So, um, This was pressed on vinyl originally and it's out of print for a long, long time. And every now and then I keep checking Discogs and places like that to see if I can get a copy. It's not that it, it's not that cheap. It usually comes at around 50 or 60, 70 euros. But now the wait is over because um, here we have a brand new uh, 2020 repress. And this is a fantastic album. It's probably his best album. Um, Every track in it is good. I remember copying the CD onto a cassette and I went to Australia in early 1997 and I had the cassette on all the way to Japan on the flight and then all the way to um, Sydney from Tokyo. So that album will forever remind me of being um, in, on board a Boeing 747 um, heading towards the east. So this album has something for the weekend, becoming more like Alfie. It's a nod to the uh, Michael Caine movie. Little Class Heroes, In and Out of Paris and London, Charge, Songs of Love. People might know that. The music in this track was used as the theme for um, Father Ted, the comedy. The Frog Princess, A Woman of the World, Through a Long and Sleepless Night, theme from Casanova, The Dogs and the Horses. So this album it's got strings and big band ensemble um, it really is a, a fantastic album um, if you've never heard of divine comedy i would recommend trying to get your hands on this even on cd you know um, so yeah let's slice it open it's a gatefold i'm not sure if the original was i don't know but um i can't wait to hear this um, I forgot to mention, each album is heavyweight. Um, remastered, and there's a download of the full album plus a full album of bonus material. Now I've got a lot of the Brian Comedy CD singles and stuff like that. I have all their music on, on compact disc, I bought them as they came out. Uh, so I've got the rest of these albums on order for this, it's all I could get to do. Um, there you go. Neil in Venice. Um, I'm not sure if this is an actual real photograph. <laughs> it could be a cop, I don't know. I, 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 I presume he went there. Ooh, there's my download card. I'll have to get the goodies away. So this is it. Um, inner sleeve. 
And then, um, oh yes, now we've got um, some nice um, sleeve notes here, which is fantastic. And just a quick read here saying, remember this was all done on 24 track tape, no plonking samples into computers and manipulating them. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, that sounds good. Um, I've been after this on vinyl for a long, long time. So remastered by Frank Arkwright at Abbey Road. Yeah. Nice label. And there you have it. Casanova. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to listening to this. Um, I haven't heard it for some time. Um, but I played it to death back then. And uh, I can't wait to hear it again. That's Casanova. Yeah, and the, the um, artwork has really been done well. There's even a kind of um, a nice kind of gold shine going through that. It's not gold leaf, but the artwork is very, very sharp. They did a good job. A lot of albums are remastered and they look terrible. But um, I must say this is crisp. The cardboard is heavy. Um, it's released on Divine Comedy Records. Originally it was on um, Satanta. Um, I think Edwin Collins was involved in that record company. So yeah, there you go. I can't wait to hear this. Next up here is um, Regeneration. This is the sixth full-length album. It was originally released in 2001. It came after Fanny Seattle. Well, it was the greatest hits then after that. Um, this is a good album. Um, I like it, I enjoyed it. But when I bought it on CD back then, I kind of waited for a vinyl release and it never came. So as far as I know, this never came out on vinyl. So this is probably the first time. Um, it doesn't really say on the on the label or anything like that. But um, again, this has got a download of the album and bonus material. And uh, again, I have got some of the CD singles. There's a few uh, tracks came out in cassette singles, I think, in seven inches that I don't have. But uh, fine album. Um, more of a band sound this time, you know, um, the kind of lush orchestras seem to uh, have disappeared on this one. Time Stretched, Bad Ambassador, that's a great song. Uh, perfect Love Song, it's kind of like, a little bit like the Beach Boys. No Two Self, Lost Property, Eye of the Needle, Love What You Do, Dumb It Down, Mastermind, Regeneration, The Beauty Regime. Haven't heard this one for quite some time. And um, it was produced by... Nigel Goodrich, you may know him if you're a Radiohead fan. He produced. Okay, computer as far as I remember. Um, so yeah. Looking forward to this now again. So um, and music is music is great. Um, you know. It can save you from all the doom and gloom that's coming down the track. Um, this strange album cover. Again, um, nice heavy cardboard. You know, they did a good job on these. The artwork is fantastic. Can't really fault it. Um, nice sobering black and white photograph. Um, I notice as well this is a very casual look for the band. Um, oh yes, more sleeve notes. I love sleeve notes. So, um, all written by Neil himself. Uh, very, very talented guy. I mean, there's no disputing that. I think he's one of the most criminally underrated um, artists. Um, of all time, to be honest. Um, he really, really is a brilliant songwriter and a brilliant um, performer. And his songs 
uh, fantastic melodies. Um, you know, you'll never forget divine comedy music. You know, you kind of kind of wait. Um, you've already tune that you think you've heard it already. It's just a classic magpie, I guess. <laughs> Next up is the eighth album, and this is called Victory for the Comic Muse. This was released in 2006. I actually can remember clearly running out to buy it. Um, it was released in summer. It was a very hot day. And I got the CD. I think there was a DVD with the CD um, showing the recording of the album. And it was recorded in Rack Studios London. And I think for this one he went out of his way to record in analog on a 24 track system um, with using all valve microphones and all this kind of stuff um, so I'm really 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 looking forward to hearing this on um, vinyl um, again it wasn't released um, on vinyl before because if it did come out I would have had it so this is the first time on vinyl um, so this is this is a great album. Um, it's a good mix of his classic uh, style and sound. To die a virgin, uh, very like ELO, Motivere, kind of a banjo driven track. Diva lady, um, a lady of a certain age. That's a lovely, lovely song, but very sad as well. About a woman getting older and older, and she came from a rich background, and she ends up, you know. Um, as a nobody in um, a flat in London and um, I remember the line you chased the sun around the Côte d'Azur um, or back then I used to go to the Antibes Jazz Festival in South of France so um, I was I was there in 2006 um, 2005 as well and 2007 so it kind of reminds me of that like it's it's, it's really nice uh, threesome, Party Fears 2, that's a song by um, The Associates, it's a cover. Um, Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World, The Plough, Count Grassy's Passage over Piedmont, Snowball in negative instrumental. I mean. So, um, yeah, it's a good album. Like I said, since I heard Casanova in 1997, I used to be kind of more or less queuing up for the albums as they came out, and I'd always buy the singles. Um, so, um, yeah, with, with, with excitement. Well, yeah, I guess, um, I guess I'm more of a, a very loyal Divine Comedy fan. I've got some DVDs as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, a greatest hits is a good way to start. Um, the greatest hits did come out on vinyl actually back in the day. Um, yeah, that seems to be a photograph from uh, inside um, Rack Studios. Yeah, everything was done the way records used to be recorded in days of old. Um, The art book was great as well. Recorded and mixed by Guy Massey. Hmm. A lot of musicians on this as well. Ah, more sleeve notes. I'm in for a treat. I read these as I listen to the album. This is this is one of the best things that's happened this year. Um, the fact that they're releasing Divine Comedy. Um, yeah, something I thought I'd never see. Um, his last few albums came out um, on vinyl. Um, the last album, Office Politics. Um, I don't have the vinyl, but I have this. Like I said, I have them all on CD. Um, that's a good album as well. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to get them all um, and just 
the restaurant order. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, I just listened to Casanova in full and it sounds fantastic. The thing that struck me when I um, first put it on was the amount of bass that's um, on the pressing. It's quite high, but so I had to back that off um, on my amplifier. Um, I was using a set of um, Pioneer headphones over here. Um, they're Pioneer DJ headphones. Uh, amplifier I was using was a Pioneer A307R and the turntable was a Riga Planer 2 from the mid 90s and going through an ad on a preamp PP2. So um, these sound fantastic. Um, the Diversion from Fanfare. Um, Sounds excellent, punchy, clear. The instruments are just, you know, well placed in the mix and um, regeneration. Also sounds great. Um, very, very clear, um, low noise, and uh, very, very satisfying to the ears. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, feel free to subscribe to my channel and. Take care, and as always, thanks for watching.